Hi, this is Eric Martin with Board Game Geek. I'm here with Antoine Bauza looking at Last Bastion from Repo Production. Uh, new version, revised, updated, changed. Uh, revised, reworked, uh, revamped. <laughs> uh, say it of Ghost Stories, uh, which came out 10 years ago. Yes, yes, yeah. yes. Happy anniversary. 11, 11, I think. 2008. So 11 years ago in, uh, in okay. Essen, yeah. Yes. Uh, maybe give an overview for people who are not familiar with the game, okay. what we are trying to do and why we can't do it. <laughs> <laughs> See what you mean. That is, yes. Uh, so Last Bastion is a full cooperative game. Uh, you have one of the, those characters. It's a uh, one to four players. Mm -hmm. uh, so you are inside this uh, Bastion, okay, Citadel, and uh, you have to defend it from the uh, villain, which are those cards here. Yeah, so. Okay. The regular one and uh, the big bosses. Okay. Okay. So when you set up the game, you have to uh, shuffle this, and depending on the difficulty you want, you put one, two, or three uh, big evil guy in the at the end of the deck. Okay. And your goal is to go through all the deck and to defeat one, two, or three uh, big guy, big evil guy, uh, depending on the on the difficulty. Okay. Um, quite, quite simple when you say it. Uh, this yes, it, yes, it sounds very easy. All I have to do is <laughs> no. <laughs> so um, your turn is yeah. Your turn is you draw. Usually you draw one card. You put it. Uh, you put it depending on the color. So there are four colors on the board, plus the black one, which is uh, kind of uh, peculiar uh, enemies. You have to put it in play, and then you can move and do one action, or do one action and move. Okay. Which is different from Ghost Stories when you, you have to move first and take an action. Now you can take an action, move before or after your action. Okay. Action are two kinds. Uh, you can fight. If you are in front of an enemy, you can fight it. Mm -hmm. uh, then you have to throw up the die. The dice are here. Depending on the, on the thickness of the, um, of the enemy, you want to roll the same color. Okay. And you can use you can use the dice and you can use the resources to uh, complete your your roll. For example, if I roll that, I need two more black. If uh, I've got the, the two more black, I can spend them to match the to match the, the resistance. Okay. So this is basically combat. So it's a cooperative. So if somebody else is on your tile, you can use his resources because he's with you to get a, a yes. good fight and. Of course, it's not that simple because there are a lot of little uh, abilities. Each uh, each enemy has abilities. So, one ability when he uh, came into the game, one while he's in the game, and one when he leaves the game. Yes. Okay. So, for example, here each turn is here. You have to throw this uh, nasty die. We uh, always uh, do uh, nasty stuff. Just adding a, adding a new enemy. Uh, on, uh, yes. Put this. This uh, curse token on the, on the in play, losing one life, losing one resource, and sometimes you can lose one resource and lose one life. So bad okay. ones. Okay. Uh, so you can either fight or use one uh, one action, the tile where your uh, character stands up. So for example, in this case, you can lose one life. You choose to lose one life, but you can remove any enemy from, from the game and you put it in the discard pile. So okay. it's very powerful because you don't have to fight him, but you have, have only three yeah, lives. Yeah, and you have only three lives and it's not so easy to regain life. So yes. the because there's always something else to do. Yeah. There is, yeah you have your plan is, for yeah, what you, you want to do. You always stress because you want to uh, fight everybody and make all action at the time, but you have to choose one each turn. Yes, uh, yes. I, I think it's one of the strong features of the, uh, of the game. It's you're always uh, under stress. It's always coming, and uh, yes. and you were smiling at the beginning. Yes, the, the game is hard. If you play Ghost Stories ten years ago, it was really hard. This one is a little easiest, but okay. not so much. So it's it's still a, a, a real challenge. So if you play it for the first time, first time. Uh, try in the lowest difficulty level. <laughs> right. No ego there. It's, <laughs> it, it's, it's a hard game. It's a, it's a real challenge. Yes. Uh, and you have as well, uh, so everyone is a hero. Yes. There's eight heroes in the game, yes. all with their own powers. Yes. So there's some, I don't know, you get to customize. Well, it, 
it's a different feel yes, depending yes, on the it's, mix it's, of heroes yeah, in the game. All has a unique ability, so it's uh, yes, it's, it's, it gets a, a different feel from one game to another game. And of course, you only even if you play four player, you only use four, uh, four from the, the eight character, so you can try m different combinations, yes. uh, which is add a lot of uh, replay value. And again, in Ghost Stories, it was very limited, uh, the power uh, replay value. Here you have eight very different uh, abilities, and you can mix you can mix them uh, to play. OK. Um, maybe you talk about how we don't win. How do we lose? <laughs> so you I lose. mean, we win. You, you made it very, yeah. oh, you <laughs> defeat these, the, the baddest So you lose villains? if every character is uh, injured. So when you get injured, you have to uh, turn back your uh, your board, you can. Up, you can. Yeah, thank you. You can be ill one time. If you get knocked out a second time, you're out. But yes. if everybody is uh, is uh, wounded at the same time, you lose the game. Yeah. You lose the game if three of those markers are in place, so they go in here. So when you have one, it's okay. So it's just that you lose the the tile ability. But if there are three anywhere, you lose the game. Yes. Okay. And the uh, third is uh, at the end of the deck, so the, the bad guy will come in play and you have to defeat him before you run out of cards. So if you draw the last card and the, the big guy is, all, is still there, you lose the game too. Yeah. Lots but of you ways can win to the lose. game. You, you can. If you, if you defeat the last one. Okay. The, the last. So what were the main, uh, the main differences between this and Ghost Stories? Like, how has it changed? I know, uh, talking with Stefan at Repo, he, yeah. he said it was streamlined, yes, removing lot. some yeah, questions yeah. that people would have. Yeah, so every, uh, every character ability that I was, uh, is, you know, exception and ruler case. So we try to, uh, we try to streamline everything. So uh, I think it's, comparing to Ghost Stories, maybe it was 12, pa uh, 12 uh, pages of rule, and mm -hmm. now it's all in eight. Yes. So we remove every uh, every uh, special case and uh, everything which uh, was um, uh, itchy. Yes. Itchy. Oh, I like that. It's, it's, it's a good expression. <laughs> I mean, so because the, the the game feels very familiar, yeah. yes. and yet, yes, yeah. it if had you, a shorter play time. If you played Ghost Stories, the yes. playing experience is the same. You have the même pressure, the même stress, the même feeling. But if you look into the mechanics. Uh, every almost every uh, little bit has changed. So, for example, there are n nine times, but I think there are only three from Ghost Stories. The, the six has been changed. The right. lot of power has been changed. Lot of uh, abilities on the enemy have changed. So every little bit has been uh, rework, rethink for for making uh, yeah the game more you know solid, compact, and uh, streamlined. And right. yeah, the the playing town playing time is uh, uh, shorter. Because you don't have as questions about it, it more just flows. Yes, much yeah, more. Not just flows, and the, the deck is a, a little shorter too. Because uh, we saw in Ghost Stories, we saw player that played the game for two, two and a half hour, and oh, because man. they are talking all, uh, you know, <laughs> all decision as a group, which is very nice, but make the game very, uh, very long. So we didn't want that. So we, yeah, we, ch we shortened the, the whole experience. Okay. Thank you very much for the overview. It's good to see this on the market. For people yes. who have not experienced ghost stories, yeah. they get to, to try this now. So there we go. An overview of Last Bastion. Thank you, Antoine. Thank you. Uh, out from Repo Production.